Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. There, I'm kissing again. Would you like to confront him? Yes. Jamal, I'm Joey Greco oh. from Cheaters. What are you doing? Could you accept? No. What Could is you this? Don't. Well, give me my coat. No. Give me my coat. Oh, Come on, baby. Don't do me like that. <laughs> From Cheater's surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. It's just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get right. up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Whoa, whoa. This is, like, not how this is supposed Whatever. to work, Just John. go. Go with him. <laughs> I love you. I'm so sorry. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Greetings, I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Cheaters. Meet Nicole Bradley, a compassionate woman wanting to clear up a serious problem with her boyfriend. Needing answers, Nicole asks for help from the detectives at Cheaters. Nicole Bradley, age 21. A student worried that her boyfriend may be seeking out the attention of another female. Well, me and Jamal have been together for about a year. We met when I was a senior in high school. I was about to graduate. He was in college. I was at a college party with some of my friends. And I wasn't really looking for a boyfriend, but his little cocky attitude, I don't know. He just got me. We're in love. When I decided to go off to college so far away, it was a hard decision to make because I couldn't imagine being away from him for so long. We were used to being around each other every day, and I couldn't even imagine how that was gonna be, but the school that I was going to it was the best school for my major and had to think about my future, so he encouraged me to go ahead and go. You know, at first, I believed that he really is, was committed and in love, but now I don't know if it's starting to fade, maybe he's losing interest, or maybe because I'm so far away, and I don't know, it's just not the same. And maybe it's nothing, maybe he's just working, but I think he, you know, maybe somebody else. And, you know, it's like I'll be wanting him to come see me, and he doesn't, he won't rush over to come and see me. Like, he, he's like, well, I'll, I have things to do, but I'll be over there. And he's just not very excited or into it, or, and he, it, you, you would think he'd want to run over and get me, because he hasn't seen me, but. He just seems like he's, he's okay, he's satisfied, I guess. If he's cheating on me, I mean, I don't know, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not gonna talk to him anymore, of course. And I, I just really don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. I know I'm not gonna talk to him, and it's, I don't know, it's gonna be hard for me to get over him, but I'm gonna to have to let him go. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Jamal Smith, age 26. A nightclub manager who may be using his job as a cover to meet with another woman. Investigation day three. Cheaters investigators finally hone in on the suspect's whereabouts after several uneventful days. He winds his way through the dark streets of the city and eventually turns into an apartment complex. Inspectors find an inconspicuous spot to park their vehicle and then patiently wait for signs of movement. After a few minutes, an unknown female emerges from an apartment and makes her way down the stairs. She's heading in the direction of suspect Jamal Smith's vehicle. The mystery woman hops in, and the two are off. The couple makes a stop at a local movie theater to catch a motion picture. The two re-emerge some two hours later. They leave the theater hand in hand. 
Cheaters follows the couple back to the companion's residence. Suspect Smith walks his lady to her front door and awaits his reward for being such a gentleman. After a few kisses, he attempts to sneak his way inside, but is quickly shunned and sent home. Investigation Day 5. Suspect Smith is followed to the same apartment complex that he had visited the day before last. Within seconds, Suspect Smith and his companion, now identified as Erica Stevenson, leave the apartment. They decide to take a walk in the park on this pleasant day. After crossing the street, Suspect Smith takes his lady by the hand and leads her down to a peaceful area by the creek. Suspect Smith leaves the complex after a relaxing afternoon with his new love interest. Investigation Day 6. Cheaters tail Suspect Smith back to Companion Stevenson's apartment. He pulls into a parking space and begins to open all the doors of the vehicle. He then instructs her to give him a private dance, visibly pleasing the aroused suspect. Meanwhile, Smith gives Nicole another dose of deception in a recorded phone conversation. Hello? Hey, what's your name? Uh, I'm about to come down there for spring break in a couple of weeks. Spring break is already? Yep. Give me a call, man. Let me know what day you're coming down, huh? Okay. You miss me? Yeah, I'm missing you. But I need you to call me because I might be kind of busy. I got this thing I'm doing with my homeboy, so just let me know. Well, then you better not be busy on spring break. It's not like I see you all the time. All right, well, just give me a call, all right? All right, I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Cheaters detectives now have all they need. Nicole is contacted at once. After the break, the confrontation. With the truth unequivocally documented on tape, Cheaters meets with Nicole to disclose the details of her case. Nervous about the possible outcome, Nicole pleads for relief from her distressing anxieties. Nicole, we want to thank you for meeting us out here tonight. I know it's been a long day. You drove up from San Marcos. One of the reasons that we wanted to have you come here this evening was that our detectives have some information that they thought could be very important for you to see. On this day of the investigation, we had one detective that was following your boyfriend, Jamal. We saw him arrive at an apartment and what we thought was peculiar was that he didn't get out. He just honked the horn. An unidentified woman came out to meet him in the car. This is something that you know, it may or may not be odd behavior. I don't know what friends he has that you know about. But outside a local theater, they're walking arm in arm. This doesn't look like behavior to me from someone who's in a relationship with somebody else. I'm sorry, sweetie. After that evening, we see them go up, they embrace. It looks like he has other intentions, but he gets pushed away from this female. Now, I know this is difficult to look at, but on this day in the investigation, they get together, and we see them just walking out into the park, and we see all those tender things that he was probably like this with you. You want to look at the rest of this? On this day in the investigation, we see him arrive at the apartment. His friend meets him again outside, does a little dance for him out in the parking lot. They're embracing, kissing again. And he doesn't look like he has anything else on his mind other than who's right in front of him. After spending a little time with his dance partner out in the parking lot, they go on upstairs. And now I think he's played his hand I know that's not stuff that you want to see. Does this start to make sense now? Why he's been behaving the way he has been? Where did he tell you he was going to be tonight? I don't know, Warkin. Well, unfortunately, Nicole, he's not at work. He's together with this woman, and they're together at the tower. And would you like to confront him? Yes. OK. Let's get you over here. And we'll get you in the car. Let's have you step right over here. 
And everybody get in tight to the wall, get up against the wall. I'm just gonna stay right here. Their car is parked right down here. All the other exits are locked. There's only one exit they're gonna be able to get out of. They're just gonna have to come right through this oh, area. They're from there. And they're gonna be coming right through here. I'm gonna check with the detective. Yeah, it's Joey. We're in position. If they start to close out, just keep us posted. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have some movement. They're coming out the door. Okay. Let's go. Jamal. I'm Joey Greco oh. from Cheaters. What the no, what, what, what well, are hang you on, doing? Nicole. No, what are you doing? What, what is this? Can you no, what can is you, this? Jamal. Whoa, what? Jamal, Yo, what, 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 what are you doing? Yo, what is this? Can you clean her? No, who is that? Baby, baby. This is his girlfriend. We're from Cheaters. Jamal. He's been dating her for the last year almost. No, Ron, how could no, you? Oh, baby, I love you. Do I you love really, you. Don't. You, I love you. Listen then to me. Then who is that if you love me? That, who, no, nobody. We never came to the, what is this? Now, we never that, came here. He's been telling her that he wants to get married and have children. What has he been telling you? So who is, who is that? Nothing special. That's nobody. And why is these cameras in my face? Jamal. Baby, I, what are you doing? Come on, baby. Don't do me like that. Don't, don't do me like that, baby. Baby, please don't do me like that. Coming up next, the conclusion. I mean, it's not the first time, so. Oh, it's not the first time that he's... It's I mean, it's not the first time that this has happened to me oh. personally, so. Get the out of my face. Move! That's cool. She's just you when you're not here. It's nothing special. I love you. When I'm... What do you mean, me when I'm not I here? I love you, baby. You? Really? Look at me. I love you. I love you. And that's all there is to it. And I... <sighs> what? What? Okay, you been spying on me, baby? What is this all about? Just no, let me know. You were lying. You didn't want me to but come baby, up here. I love you. Come on. I love you. Can you what explain? You can you at you least tell her? I have nothing better else to do with your time, doc. What, Look, what do you do? Is this what you Jamal. do for a living? Jamal. Yeah, it is. That's it what is. you do for a living? We bring truth. It, oh, is, is, that, is, that, is that what, what this is? That's what pay you to do? Here. There. That, if you need to get paid, that's what you do. Jamal, that, that ain't enough that, money. That's to, you. That ain't enough that money you. to have no, to do. No, it. don't follow me. That's Jamal, have no, you been behaving like you love no, her? No, who are you? No, I need. Your, what? I need my phone. I need my. What? Give the, me. No. Give me my phone. Hey. Give me. Why do you have her phone? Give me my phone. Man, get your phone. Go. Is that the phone that she's been calling? Yes, yeah, it is. So the one that. Him. It is the phone. How long have y'all been doing this? It's, man, it's nothing, man. It ain't. Baby. If you if you love her the way you say you do, don't you have the responsibility to at least be honest with her? I am honest with her. Wait. The, how long how long has this been going on? Does it really even matter? Yes. Did you even know about me? You no. just didn't care. It's six months, seven months. Something did, like so that. did did he tell you he had a girlfriend? No, obviously not. <laughs> not even that type of female. My hey, name's Erica. <laughs> Nicole. But she knows. That I love her. No, but she knows she what she's knows. been seeing. She knows what you've been giving her, which has not been the truth up until now. You've been doing this for six months? It's time for the truth, Jamal. I love you. You love her? I love her. I love her. All right. Okay? Baby. Miss, did you get your phone? Yes. Okay. If you need a ride, we'll have security take care of you. Why oh. didn't you just tell me? Baby, I'm, go. They're gonna ride me to the car. Do you want a ride to your car? We'll give you a ride to your car if you want. Take me to my car, man. Is that okay with you, Nicole? I don't care. How can you love somebody and then... Baby, you're not here with me at all the times that I need you to be. Jamal, I don't care. I wanna go home. Can we go? That's Jamal. I think probably for now, we'll take care of her and we'll bring her back to her car. And if you want to continue this, it'll be up to you. Go ahead. He doesn't know what love is. 
He just says anything, whatever pops in his head. After the confrontation, Nicole takes some time to sort out her disheveled state of affairs. In a few moments, Cheaters reveals the latest chapter in her story. But now, Cheaters introduces Megan McManus, previously caught in a compromising family affair. Megan talks with Cheaters about her life since the confrontation. Megan McManus, age 23, Megan expresses her regret over the way she chose to handle her failing relationship with Chase. Well, um, when, the, when the crew first came, I mean, all I could really think of was why are there a bunch of people with big bright lights and cameras all staring at me? And then Chase walks in and I'm just kind of flabbergasted. Uh, I didn't really know what to think. Um, just kind of put myself in defense mode. Hey, stay with me, stay with me. What, what are you doing here is what I want to know. Excuse me, what? How long have you been doing this with him? Doing what? Hanging out? You're doing your cousin? In his house, in his apartment. You're doing your cousin. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's my cousin in marriage and it doesn't really matter. Throughout, throughout, the, whole, uh, throughout the whole bust, my, my head was really just jumbled with all kinds of different thoughts. Um, emotions of Chase and you know how how much I really love him and and how betrayed I felt by by how he'd gone about air, airing this and um, at the same time I felt guilty. Do you even care about me in the least? Now I don't even care anymore. This is it's either true or it's not. No. You want to take this to court? I mean I, I never no. agreed to being Thanks. Where are my keys? Where are your keys? Where are my keys? Give me my Take him, take him. I don't, I don't, I don't need you. And We've you. seen it on and tape. And you, what are you doing with my girlfriend? Is In a relationship, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm looking for someone that can be as equally emotionally supportive as I am. And, you know, Chase has been hurt in the past, and he really, he just had way too many barriers up that I couldn't, that I couldn't seem to break through. You know, I, I wanted a relationship with him. I, I loved him, and I cared about him. And... I still do, and I know that he cares about me, but at the same time, he wouldn't let me in. Why do I have any reason to talk to you? Megan, what were you getting out of that? I can't, what were I you... can't believe he's okay. doing Okay, I will no. beat you. No. No. Megan. I'm starting arguments with people that I care about, this is crap. Megan, do you care about him? Did you care about him? This is my shirt. I'm sorry, but I don't think this is fair. I don't think you've got any right to fair. You let this go. You let this go and then maybe I'll talk to you. This experience has made me realize that even if I'm having problems with someone I love, that I'm gonna have to get past some point, you know, some some breaking breaking down those walls and talk to them. And hopefully they'll listen and understand, but the, the solution is not always to go find something elsewhere. And if that's going to be what I have to do, I need to say something. Subsequent to the confrontation, Nicole seems quite willing to give Jamal a second chance. She says that he's the type of guy that could make a wonderful husband if properly tamed. When questioned about Jamal's apparent lack of loyalty, Nicole simply said, I can't help loving him. I don't see any sense in fighting it. Jamal Smith is somewhat perturbed about being the main focus of the investigation. He truly believes that he did nothing wrong and places a great deal of fault on the circumstances of their relationship. He says that he truly loves Nicole, but gets tempted at times when she's away for long periods of time. Jamal blames their problems on her attending an out-of-town college. He does, however, state that he does not want to lose her and will do whatever it takes to regain her trust. As for Erica Stevenson, she is quite sympathetic toward Nicole. She says that Jamal did not bother to mention that he had a girlfriend. Ms. Stevenson feels betrayed and wishes to have nothing to do with the two-timing player. She did, however, offer goodwill and a deep apology to Nicole. <laughs> 